Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick garden update. This is kind of a little herb garden here. And man, is it doing things this year. That's sage. There's some dill coming up in that. These are dill. This is the only one I transplanted some in. The rest was just all volunteers because dill does that. And that is, is, um, thanks a lot. I can't remember. Well, that's radishes. That's that. That is chives that started from seed from that chive bed. That's garlic. Those are beets for beet greens. Anyway, that's enough on this one. That's just a little herb garden that we have right inside the house. And we'll do the raised beds next. That's my horseradish looking good. This will be the first year we dig it. I'm going to dig half of it and replant it, of course. And there's a volunteer horseradish that started from a seed way down here. That's comfrey. I've cut that back once. And it's come back. Those are some more chives. More catnip. That just grows on its own. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. That's got to come out of there. This is lettuce. And she's got some cabbage or broccoli in here. I think cabbage. And that's what's under that one too to keep the bugs off man she's cut that lettuce back once that has done well this year this is spinach another planting of radishes in there um that's garlic there not looking so great the peppers they're not looking so great i think it just was too wet for them this year volunteer tomato no those were some my wife planted these are beets there and there's a Japanese beetle right there we're going to mash. You're too late. I got gotcha. you. Those are starting to come out. There's a few beans in this one. These are some onion sets that she started. Um, right in here, there's a butternut tree. And I'm hoping it makes it. That's another catnip. I'm going to cut that out of there. Probably dry some of it, but that's overtaking things. That's turnips, cucumbers, just a couple little plants I put in. Those are parsnips, they didn't germinate well, they haven't done well. Those are more beets. There's a tremendous pigweed. I better hadn't pull it straight in a row, I'll clip it off later. Carrots, and a pigweed. When it's wet, the weeds just jump up on you. There's some more beets with some kind of a squash coming in them. Geez, I didn't put that in there. That's a walking onion. One of them has dropped and I put it in the dirt. That's summer squash. They're not looking so good. Maybe too wet, too cold. I don't know. The turnips look lovely. I'm going to start harvesting some pretty quick. Strawberries have gone by. There's just a few left. She got quite a few. Those are Spanish onions, yellow onions. These are beans and uh, Swiss chard in this one. That one's going to seed. Look at that. That is actually a Swiss chard. I'm going to leave it right now. Uh, they're getting awful friendly. Let me take care of them. I hate. Oh, yeah. Kind of a bunch of little pervert activity. Well, we got her. Sorry. I hate Japanese beetles. They eat everything and we never had them. I don't know why we got to put up on them now. I hate to spray right here because this is ready to eat and that's not a good idea. These are potatoes. They're looking good. Um, I did spray them for bugs. Other than that, that's about it for this part of the garden. There's some more of our potatoes there. Those are, uh, they're not Kennebec. I'll show you the Kennebecs. These are Yukon Gold. That's some rhubarb that's never done anything. This is the cucumber patch this year. Uh, I got a dead leaf there. I gotta check that out. I wonder if I got vine borers. Those are sugar pumpkins, but they're not doing very well. Sunflower that just grew birds brought in the seed of gas and that's our raspberries there they're coming along nicely I'll try to get up close 
Oh yeah, look at the Japanese beetles over here. Damn thing. No, well, that one's a little sour yet, but that was pretty good. This here is some rhubarb I just put in this year. Bought the plants, they've been in a little over a month. They need weeding. It's too hot today. That is some summer squash there. Onions, watermelon, it doesn't look too good, but these are the pumpkins and winter squash. Man, did they grow. And there's there's nothing there. There's I didn't use any fertilizer. I just this is a new plot. I wrote it tilled up. And look at the blossoms in there. I, I gotta do something. I don't they're overgrown. I don't know. I thought vine borers would kill a pile of them. But anyway, that's where we're at. Oh look, there's a pumpkin coming right there already. For July 6th, 7th. And this last garden area is the tomato plants. They're growing, but they don't look very good. I don't know what's going on. Those are beans. They haven't done especially well here. Those are some tomatoes my wife started. I think I put a roll of beans in there. And did I put cucumbers in there that haven't come up yet? That's just some nettles that I leave. That's a potato that grew on its own. The other day I saw there's a zucchini started down right there. You know, there's whole beans that you're supposed to climb. Now these are my um, uh, cannabacks here. They're looking good. These were some cabbages that aren't doing much. Some broccoli that something ate the hell out of. Anyway, that's the garden. And that's a sawmill with a little lumber there, but boy, have I got some logs to saw for that little mill. All free, they were all given to me. Tree surgeon, those are pretty crooked. That's some basswood and that's some cedar. I got my hands full. This is a garden space that I let a woman use. I let a lady garden here. This is hers, this isn't mine. And she gardens over here. I've been here years. 